from Philharmonic Hall in Lincoln Center, home of the world's greatest musical events, the Shell Oil Company brings you the New York Philharmonic Young People's Concerts under the musical direction of Leonard Bernstein. And here is Mr. Bernstein. My dear young friends, uh, one of my favorite occupations each year is holding auditions for young performers, listening to the best ones we can find, and then choosing the very best ones to appear on this annual Young People's Concert. I enjoy doing this so much not only because it gives me a chance to discover and present exciting new talent, but also because it's simply so much fun for me just to sit and hear them perform. It's like a sultan's feast to listen to them, one rich platter after another in an endless variety of courses, which of course makes it very difficult to choose. There's so much talent around these days. There are so many able and gifted young people you just don't know where to begin. And obviously, we can't present them all as much as we'd like to. We have to choose carefully from the Sultan's table and arrange our choices so that they make a sensible and satisfying meal. For instance, at last year's auditions, we heard a flock of brilliant pianists, and so we decided to devote a whole program to pianists. You remember Andre Watts and that historic occasion? Well, this year, for a change, we have decided to let the pianists rest a while and turn our attention to some other kinds of young performers, and I think we've assembled a fascinating group for you to hear. They run in age from 14 to 24, and they include a harpist, a flutist, a clarinetist, a cellist, and uh, what is very rare among teenage people, a real live composer. Now, how about that for a well-balanced meal? As an appetizer, we're going to lead off with a 14-year-old harpist, and I'm sure this will stimulate your appetite because she is an enchanting young lady named Heidi Leewalder, who comes here to Lincoln Center all the way from Seattle, Washington. Heidi's mother is a member of the Seattle Symphony Orchestra, which uh, naturally gives Heidi a musical head start. Besides, she has had great teachers. She studied with the world-famous master of the harp, Carlos Salzedo, as well as with his gifted pupil, Lynn Wainwright Palmer. But the main thing about Heidi is that she is simply a wizard. She doesn't look a day older than her 14 years, but when she plays the harp, you just can't believe it. In her rhythm and sureness of attack and tonal color, she sounds exactly like her master, Salzedo. Now, she is going to play for us the first movement of Handel's Concerto in B flat, which calls for a very small orchestra, as you can see. But uh, don't worry, before the program's over, you'll be hearing the entire Philharmonic. Now, here is our lovely harp soloist, Miss Heidi Leewalder.
Wasn't that a joy to hear? It, uh, it leaves us wishing for more, as all good appetizers should. And we are going to hear more from our Heidi, only this time she will be joined by two more young soloists, a flutist and a clarinetist. And together they will play a beautiful work by Ravel called Introduction and Allegro for harp, flute, clarinet, and strings. This Ravel music is a big jump from Handel. It's very, very French with delicate flavors and delicious harmonies. We might even think of it as the soup vichysoise of our musical dinner. I think we've uh, pushed that metaphor as about as far as it's going to go. We might as well drop it. Our uh, guest clarinetist is Weldon Berry, Jr., a charming 16-year-old lad from Philadelphia where he studies with Anthony Gigliotti, the solo clarinetist of the Philadelphia Orchestra. And our guest flutist is from far off Israel, a handsome 24-year-old lad named Amos Eisenberg, who is in this country on a scholarship studying flute with William Kincaid at the Manhattan School of Music. As you know, part of our young performance program each year is devoted to presenting to you our three assistant conductors, the three young men who are chosen for that season to work with the Philharmonic. And this season, they happen to be all foreign-born. There's one from Italy, one from Argentina, and one from Czechoslovakia. So our dinner, uh, sorry, I mean our program, is uh, really going to have an international flavor. We're first going to hear our gifted Italian assistant, Claudio Abado, who will conduct Ravel's introduction and allegro with his three fine young soloists, Miss Lee Walder, Mr. Berry, and Mr. Eisenberg.
Uh, this piano you see here, placed in the soloist position, looks as though I may be going back on my plan not to have any pianists on this program, but this is a special case coming up, because our next young soloist is only partly a performer. Actually, she's a composer, and that is a very special case. There aren't many girl composers around, especially aged 16, but what's even rarer is to find a 16-year composer, male or female, who has reached such an amazing point of professional know-how and of personal expression. But such is the special case of Miss Shulamit Ran, who is also a native of Israel, at present in the United States studying composition and piano at the Manus College of Music in New York. She too is fortunate in her teachers, Norman Dello Gioio for composition and Nadia Reisenberg for piano. The uh, musical language Shulamit Ran uses is quite modern. It's as far ahead of Ravel as Ravel was ahead of Handel. But I don't think you'll find any difficulty in understanding it. After all, you're all young people too, and why shouldn't one teenager dig the music of another? Uh, Miss Ran will play for you her recently completed Capriccio for piano and orchestra, and in this world premiere, the orchestra will be directed by our man from Argentina, the talented Pedro Calderón. Now here are Miss Ran and Señor Calderón.
Continuing now in our international spirit, we have Hungary and Czechoslovakia coming up hand in hand. Our next work is by the great Hungarian Bela Bartok, and our next conductor is a Czech named Zdenek Kosler. But our next soloist is a local boy, a cellist, who at the age of 20 has already been winning prizes all over the lot. His name is Stephen Cates, and he's going to play for you part of Bartok's Rhapsody No. 1. And this is no small potatoes, because Bartok wrote this rhapsody for violin and orchestra, and it's quite a trick to perform this difficult violin work on a cello. But as I said, there's no limit to the young talent around these days. They can do anything. Uh, just before Stephen Cates makes his entrance, I want to let you in on a family secret. His father, David Cates, is a member of our own Philharmonic and, in fact, is sitting right here in the viola section. Uh, now, here is young Stephen to play part two of Bartok's Rhapsody No. 1, accompanied by our brilliantly talented assistant conductor, Zdenek Koshler.
Well, I call that fine cello playing. And uh, in, in a moment, Stephen also is going to give us an encore by playing the solo cello introduction to the William Tell Overture by Rossini, of all things. Did you know it had a solo cello introduction? Well, this overture is much more than just that familiar cowboy music you all know and loathe. It's a big, varied, unusual piece, practically a symphonic poem. And for once, I want you to hear it complete as the masterpiece of music it really is. And now, if our own solo cellist, Mr. Carl Stern, will graciously yield his chair of honor to our young guest, we can proceed.
From Philharmonic Hall in Lincoln Center, another New York Philharmonic Young People's Concert under the musical direction of Leonard Bernstein has been presented by the Shell Oil Company. This program, Young Performers, featured works by Handel, Ravel, Bartok, and Rossini, and the world premiere of the Capriccio for Piano and Orchestra by Shulhamet Ra. The next program in the Young People series will take place in nine weeks on Sunday, February 23rd. This program was recorded in Philharmonic Hall and was produced and directed by Roger Englund. Be sure to see Shell's wonderful world of golf starting Sunday afternoon, January 19th on another network.